CU student enrollment has been on a steady rise since 2011. Whether they are in-state, out-of-state, or international, incoming students have one thing in common, increasing tuition. Tyler Woolsey, a junior finance major, is one student who finds the trends troubling. We've gotten to the point where going to college, you're kind of expecting to have some kind of debt or loans when you're leaving. Already right now, I work 20 hours plus a week, just, and that's just to pay for rent and food and other stuff I want to be able to do when tuition keeps getting raised each year. On March 30th, the Board of Regents approved of a tuition hike of just under 3%, the lowest in nearly a decade. The relatively low increase is refreshing, but still not enough. And it could get worse. If the currently proposed budget isn't approved, CU would not see the additional $6.3 million from the state general fund. In fact, our state could be one of the first to entirely privatize former public universities. Colorado's national ranking for higher education funding is dead last out of every state in the nation. If Colorado doesn't tackle the issue of state funding, students could cover their entire cost of education. Residence and non-residence tuition continues to rise, but state appropriations have not. At this rate, economic experts predict higher education institutions may no longer receive any funding by 2022. As a result, debt begins to rise. To keep up with the cost of tuition, more and more students are having to borrow. In simpler terms, the value of the education helps students repay those loans. You can't really expect to be able to get a good job out of college without a degree to show. Hopefully, a solution to this state funding issue comes up quick or otherwise I'm not really sure how I'm going to be able to pay for college. However, this year the financial aid office did see a decrease in the default rate, indicating students are repaying their loans. Anthony Pagano, News Team Boulder.